This... this is it. Right? Yeah. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Tessa? Kids. I... Uh, I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Typical. Running away when things get tough. I don't buy that Mary Ann pushed you away. You turned your back on her. And now you're making excuses. Like always, you destroyed our family. You don't even have the decency to admit it. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? You went through a very challenging time and anyone could come out on the other side confused. There's help available out there if you'll take it. Keep your help. So that's it then. We're done because I believe something different than you? No. 
It's because you don't believe in me. I see. Then I guess there's nothing more to say. You two really are her children. Hey. I know that was hard, but... You did the right thing. Come on. <laughs>